Okay, for this video, um, we're going back to the last video and the formula in the last video. And the, oops, the formula that we're going to be looking at is this pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So in this problem, they give you the hydronium ion concentration, and they want you to find the pH of that. So pH is simply the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So if this is the hydronium ion concentration here, it's simply the negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the minus fourth, and you get four. Okay, I suggest you pause the video. Well, first of all, I wanna say, just to practice what we did on the last slide, a pH of four, means that it is acidic. Okay, uh, I suggest you pause this and do the next two on your own and then come back and check your answers. Again, this is H3O plus and the formula is pH is equal to negative log of H3O plus. So it's the negative log of 5.0 times 10 to the minus 12th and I get 11.3. I do want to point out, this one was exactly, this doesn't look like a four, but it is. This one was exactly the same four and four. You notice that the 12 and the 11, okay? So this is kind of a way of checking your answer. Your answer for the pH should be something near the answer of the power of times 10 here, okay? And again, to practice the last thing, this is a basic pH because it's greater than seven. And the last one is pH is a negative log of 7.5 times 10 to the minus three. And that is 2.12. Oops. Again, minus three, two, you want them to be very close to each other. There's no units for pH. And this is less than seven, so therefore it is acidic. Okay, so that's pH, and that's something you should see in um, your biology classes. Okay, now pOH <clears throat> is the p, well, it's the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. And I said on the last video that p simply means negative log of. So p of x is simply the negative log of x. This formula is not given on the formula sheet. Okay. Another formula, and this derives from the KW expression, um, is that pOH plus pH is equal to 14. So this comes from the KW expression. And the KW expression, remember, is the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration. So if I take the negative log of both sides, well, so I have, before I do that, negative 14 is equal to H3O plus times OH minus. And so if I take the negative log to both sides, so negative log of one times 10 to the minus 14 is negative log of H3O plus times OH minus. Negative log of something one times 10 to the minus 14 is equal to 14. And for logs, when I have a multiplication term, then that means if I want to separate them out, then I can do an addition term. So it would be equal to the negative log of H3O plus plus the negative log of OH minus. And so from what we just learned, 14, the negative log of the hydronium concentration is the same thing as pH, plus the negative log of the OH minus concentration is pOH. And so that's where this formula is coming from. However, it is given on the, on the formula sheet, okay? And the last formula from this slide is how to find the hydronium concentration from pH. Um, so I'm gonna just change colors. 
so I don't get them confused. So going back to negative log of hydronium is equal to pH. I just read it reverse. Okay, if I want to solve for this, so I want to solve for this right here, the hydronium ion concentration. The first thing I need to do is get rid of the negative term because the law, the hydronium concentration is part of this log function, which is a mathematical function. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. We'll multiply both sides by negative 1. Either way, I get log of the H3O plus concentration is equal to negative pH. And as we did with the Arrhenius equation, well, almost, we did natural log, but for log, the opposite of log, and if you look at your calculators a second there, is 10 to the x. And so 10 to the x, what that happens is that gets rid of the log, and so the H3O plus concentration is 10 to the negative pH, which is what this up here says. So I'm going to, that's the full formula right there. This formula is not given because it's just a derivation of pH, so this one is not given on the formula sheet. Okay. Now, for the next slide, we will walk through how to um, basically complete a square and have calculations from pH, pOH, hydronium ion concentration, and hydroxide ion concentration. And that will be the next video.